So in the last video, we have created two labels and we have added those two labels with the help of flow layout. So well, let's again run this code. So if you say run, you're getting this output. But let's say when you close this window, so it should close, right? So when I say close, it is going, it's, it's invisible now, but still the code is running. It, it has not stopped. So we have to stop this manually. That means the button here, the button, this button, which is your cross button is not working properly. To make it work, you need to write some statement. And that method name is, we have to say, set default close operation. So there's a method called a set default close operation. And you have to use a constant there. And this constant is a static constant belongs to a class called a JFrame. And the constant name is exit on close. So we have to say set default close operation, it is jframe dot exit on close and the value of exit on close is three. Again, you can just print the value, you will get value three. So either you can write jframe dot exit on close or you can directly use a number three. But this time we'll use uh, jframe dot exit on close. Right, so if I run this code now, if I say run, we are getting the output and let's say, let's close this. So. If you say close now, you can see it is automatically get uh, close. That means now that button is working. So that means for every code, we need to write this four statement. So you can also write this set layout uh, down here. So it will work. So for every code, we need to write this four statements, right, for sure. So let's run this again to verify. So we're getting this layout. When you say close, it's working. So for every code in future, so from maybe if we have 10 tutorials or 20 tutorials, all the tutorials will require this uh, four lines. So what we can simply do is, we can use NetBeans to create some shortcut. What I mean by that is, let's say, let me just copy this code, go to tools, and we'll say options. There's something called as, in editor, there's something called code templates. And we'll say, new template, uh, we'll say, my code and we'll say okay my code uh oh it's already there let's go for new i will say uh swing code yeah so we have this swing code and we'll paste this line here with a tab obviously and we'll say apply and okay so now in future Let's say if I duplicate this in future, if I know if I know the, if I need that uh, code, I can simply say swing code tab. So if I say swing code tab, you will get this line. So in in further tutorials, I will be using this thing. Every time I will say swing code, I will get this number of lines. Clear. So this is how you have to use this set default close operation for closing the window, and set layout for setting the layout. Uh, set visible for make it visible and set size for uh, to specify the size of your frame.